Hello and welcome to Pantheon of the Geeks. Um, this is a showcase video for my Mocha Note, which you may have seen in the unboxing video. Here it is, all painted, um, unweathered and based. I'm ready to uh, rock and roll, basically. So I'll just give you a quick twirl of the Mocha Note there. Here it is. Going with, the, obviously, the Bad Moon colours. They do open, I'll show you. There isn't a great amount of detail inside, to be honest. So yeah, I just painted the plates and put a little red light in. But there isn't really much to paint inside. But it's easy enough to close and they do stay closed. So they're quite happy with the decision to leave them open. Might be able to add something in a bit later. Um, but this is it for now. Just give you a little spin on the more up. You see it from the side. So the battle damage it's painted onto it. Weathering. see it from that side you can see the uh, custom mega cannon there it is the mocha not obviously one of the latest additions to the orc codex there's that back of it and the other side the claw arm for missile launchers there's the so that is going to fit nicely into the uh, Bad Moon Army I'm currently painting. See so, yeah. that? So just a quick overview of the unit itself. I shall just read you from the codex. Where Gorkonauts epitomise the unstable brutality of the almighty Gork, the Morkonaut displays a lethal cunning of an equally almighty Mork. Every Morkonaut is a personally built and piloted by a skilled mech boy and packs a wild array of energy weapons, glowy gubbins from the Maxon workshop. Morkonaut pilots, like the Gorkonaut equivalents, are usually outcasts. Some feel the call of the Great War and set out to cause carnage in the name of Mork. While others hunt like violent magpies for the technological secrets of other races. A rare few, known as bad mechs, will eject forcibly from the tribe for crimes such as using the local weird boy <laughs> tower for target practice. Uh, these rogue Pilots are especially dangerous and will often begin their wanderings by flattening their former trial settlement with the Gorkonaut's guns. So there you go. Bit nuts. Yeah, so it's a 230 point beastie. It's a heavy support choice, obviously. If you're doing if you're using the organization charts, which I am not for this force. Because it's mainly big mechs, heavy support, stuff like that. So it's an unbound army. Because I don't actually think there is any troops in it at all. Um, probably a bit of a flaw, but it's cool. I like it the way it is. Um, this unit has a transport of six models. Inside will be going some flash gits. So as soon as I get them, I shall uh, show them off as well. Um, and obviously Captain Badrook with flash gits. Because I just want to like the model. Um, this one's armed with a custom force field. Which is 50 points. And I've given it grot riggers just for the rules purposes. Um, if I can find a few grot models, what I'll do, I shall convert them up as grot riggers and stick them all over my vehicles. But I'll have to find some models I like first. So that's it, really. That's the Morkonaut. So um, hope you like it. Hope you've liked the video. And um, please like and subscribe it if you have. And uh, please share it with your friends. So thanks for watching again. Bye for now.